Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you that sometimes being a success for your creator, for God, whoever you pray to, sometimes being a success for that power can look like a failure in the eyes of man. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Allow man to live with the worldly things. Don't get caught up in believing that that's all you are. You're way more than that. You're way more than that. So when you can go about your life and you can understand that, okay, these choices that I'm making, it's not for plaques on the wall. It's not for pictures with this and that person. It's me fulfilling what I deem my life to be worth of fulfilling. Sometimes it's not a title for that because man has a thought of everything. There's nothing new under the sun, but there's many different arrangements and ingredients. Still different ways to go about this life that we live, to go about this journey that we take on. So please, for the sake of thriving in your life, don't get caught up in wanting to fit in don't get caught up in wanting to do something that's recognizable so people can give you your accolades. Man, it don't matter. It don't matter. There's only so much room on a tombstone. There's only so many people that's even going to care when you pass. All oh, that's for that's for the man's ego. Don't mean nothing. There's a purpose for it, but it don't. Come on, y'all. It's some things you want to do in your life that has nothing to do with what you're known for. It has nothing to do with how you get your paycheck, get your 40 hours or however much time you work. It's things that you want to do that have no connection to that. And you don't entertain it because you don't know how people are going to react. You don't know how good you'll be at it. Who cares? If you want to do it, then do it. I was a big sports fan growing up. I paid attention to players. Like, I, I paid attention to style of play, things of that sort. That's what I was into. And you want to know what I always appreciated? I always appreciated, and if you watch sports, you know these guys. I always appreciated them cats who made the team because they simply wanted to be there. They wasn't that good. They wasn't nowhere near the best. But they loved the sport so much, they just liked being a part of it. Sometimes things like that are they're very helpful in our lives, y'all. I don't know what that thing is for you. I find new things for myself every now and then, and it's, it's fun. It's intriguing to me. Don't mean you got to be the best. No. You be the best version of you doing that that you can be. That's all that matters. And through that, it keeps your heart open. It keeps your mind open. But it keeps you curious. That's the most important part. And when you're curious, you're always open. Don't get too closed-minded. Don't get lost in this world because the world is always changing. So if you stay trying to stay caught up with the world, you're always a step behind. No, trust in you. Take a moment. Attempt to do something that you've never done or that you've always wanted to do. And in doing that, sometimes you might not even want to tell nobody. I do that. I, I'm not going to judge you for it. Some things I do or attempt, I keep to myself. Because most people are inclined to bash you when they see you out of your comfort zone. And that's not what you're there for. You're not there for them to celebrate you or bash you. You're simply doing it because it's something that you want to do. So if you have something that you want to do for yourself, you sneak off and do that thing. Even if it's five, ten minutes a day, five, ten minutes a week, five, ten minutes a month, who cares? Give yourself that. And if at some point you want to share it with the world, share it with the world. And if you don't, guess what? Don't do it. It's for you. But in you doing that, you'll discover different areas of yourself. You'll discover different forms of inspiration. Like, you know what? That wasn't for me. But in the course of doing that, I got on to this and this really this really got me excited about what I'm engaged in why not what you got to lose what you really got to lose 
we could look in this world right now we can see all types of examples of ways that we could go or should go at a guaranteed way guess what if we look at somebody and where they are now and they're uh, if we call it success and it don't matter what field or what area in life what they did work for them during their time during their journey but it's other things in life that can give you that same successful feeling that may look the complete opposite of that person i'm letting you know either way is okay but it's fine to look different it's fine to be different if you go out of your way to be different then you may get so lost because you're not even attempting to solve something within yourself or provide some kind of inspiration inside yourself you may just be wanting to be different because it's different then you'll always be lost you're doing it for uh, an unfulfilling reason but if you have something that you want to explore that you want to be a nerd about something that you want to change that you can be self-motivated to jump up and get to do it do it no one can take that away from you but you I say this to say, be curious, trust your intuition, follow God's guidance, and through following God's guidance, you'll find a different version of you hidden within yourself that not only champions you, but it nudge you in the correct directions, even when it seems like you're stepping deeper into the darkness. Nah, that's your higher self guiding you. Your higher self holding the hand of God and just guiding this vessel or this meat suit right along this earthly plane. Trust in it. And if you don't have that relationship with yourself, build it. Why not? It don't matter how many people you come across on this journey. If you don't sit down and learn yourself more, it's always going to be a lonely existence. But when you learn yourself more, Life gets that much richer. With these things said, I hope it resonates with at least one person. Until next time, be blessed. And please don't forget to smile.